we get emails from viewers all the time asking us things like, hey man, you gotta help me. No matter what I do, I just can't seem to pick faster than 100 beats per minute. And our knee-jerk reaction to this is always, come on, that's not right. There's nobody whose maximum speed is only 100 beats per minute, 16th notes. That just seems too slow. And the key word here is seems. That's just perception. The real truth is, we don't know. What is average picking speed? If you grabbed a thousand guitar players at random and you asked them to pick as fast as they could, what would the most common maximum picking speed turn out to be? And of those thousand, how many of them would be able to play way faster than the average? And how many of them on the flip side would have a real hard time even hitting that average? Now, if you're a guitar teacher, you probably have some intuitive sense of where this point is based on all the people you've worked with. Or maybe you haven't thought about it to this degree of specificity. But considering all the time that we've all spent trying to get picking technique and guitar playing techniques in general to work out good at all these different speeds, you would think this is such a basic question that we would have a simple, straightforward answer for it right now in hard numbers. Let's get one. Using the power of the intertubes, we've set up a page on the site at troygrady.com forward slash speed with two very simple questions. First question, what is your maximum picking speed? Second question, what method do you use to achieve it? In other words, is it elbow flexion and extension, forearm rotation, wrist deviation, and so on. Below the poll, we've inserted live charts with the results. We've got the overall numbers, and then we've got the numbers parted out by picking techniques so we can see if one method turns out to be faster or slower than one of the others. The charts update every couple of minutes, so if you bookmark the page, you can come back later and see what kind of results we're getting. Now, for simplicity's sake, we've standardized on beats per minute 16th notes. In other words, if you take your metronome, you set it to a particular value, and you play four notes per click, that value is the value you'd enter into the poll. But if your fastest lick is a triplet lick, like for example, the Ingve six note pattern, that 16th note triplets, that's six notes per click. So if you can play the Ingve six note pattern at 120 beats per minute 16th note triplets, to convert to straight 16th, just multiply by 1.5. So 120 times 1.5 is 180. That's 180 beats per minute, straight 16ths. That's the value you enter into the poll. Now, if your fastest playing happens to be tremolo playing, where you're not really paying attention to any particular tempo markings, you can still do it. You just gotta do a little more legwork. What you wanna do is film or record, either audio or video, your playing and chop out one second of it and count the number of notes in that one second stretch. Multiply that number by 60 to get a minute, and then divide by four to get 16th. So for example, if you record your fastest tremolo playing and you notice that one second of time gives you 10 notes times 60 gives you 600 notes in a minute, that's a lot of notes, divided by four is 150 beats per minute, 16th notes, that's the value you enter into the poll. So three methods, straight 16th, convert from triplets, count your tremolo notes, fire up your metronome, head on over to troygrady.com forward slash speed, and help us learn something cool about human performance.